What's up, YouTube? Welcome to my channel. Back again with TTM episode number 72. And today I have 13 returns to open, 10 small envelopes, and 3 large envelopes, one of which has a Funko box inside. For those of you who might be unfamiliar, TTM stands for Through the Mail. All of these returns are in self-addressed stamped envelopes, which I've sent away to a variety of celebrities and athletes. For more information regarding addresses, fees, etc., be sure to check out the description box below. All right, we'll get started with large envelope number one. This is the one that does have a Funko inside. We have the legendary Bobby Hull. First 50th. Number seven, 325.62. This has to be one of the most iconic hockey photos of all time. That's <laughs> a great toothless grin there. Sent him a Funko box and he signed that as well. Included Hall of Fame 1983. Keep in mind if you want to send to Mr. Hull, he did charge me 25 each for these items. Nice that he included inscriptions on both. This return marks the 25th Funko that I've received TTM. So that's pretty cool. Thank you, Mr. Hole. All right, large envelope number two. It's coming back from the Indiana Pacers. All right, DeMontis Sabonis. So the card that I sent was returned unsigned, which is what I was expecting. Domas, one of my favorite Pacers players of all time. Per usual, the Indiana Pacers have responded to my request with a five by seven. Signed photo card by a player. I love that the Pacers do this. I've had this exact same return from Miles Turner, Karis LeVert, TJ Warren, Malcolm Brogdon, Goga Batadze, and Cassius Stanley. TJ McConnell next on the list. Really looking forward to this season and seeing what Rick Carlisle can do with this Pacers team. Hoping Rick can bring some stability back to Indiana. Awesome. Thank you to the Indiana Pacers and to Damana Savonis. Now large envelope number three. We have Candice LeRae, WWE NXT wrestler. Nice photo of Candice. She signed that in her Topps Chrome NXT card. I actually just watched a short documentary here on YouTube about her. She is married to fellow NXT wrestler Johnny Gargano and it goes into the details of their relationship as wrestlers and all that. It's only like 12 minutes long and it's pretty unique, so I'll link it here if you have any interest in checking that out. Awesome. Thank you, Candice. Now on to the small envelopes. Number one, coming in from Denver, Colorado. All right, we have a Pro-Line return. Clear Ultra 91, Rod Bernstein. And also sign the, I think that's a 92 tops. Yep, 92 tops. And then on the pro line. All right, great return signing all three. Thanks, Rod. Small envelope number two coming in from San Francisco. Here we have, all right, we have another pro line, Tom Rathman. Mr. Rathman is a strict one per request. Sent him a couple cards last time and he only signed one. And this is the one I wanted him to sign. So I sent him back and he was kind enough to sign. Nice portrait there on the pro line. Thank you, Mr. Rathman. Small envelope number three coming out of Pittsburgh. All right, it's Gus Ferrat on the collector's choice. Nice, he's a beautiful signature. I like that. Gus had a couple really good seasons there in the 90s. Thanks, Mr. Farrat. All right, small envelope number four, coming out of Tampa. Okay, it's from Steve Christie. Another collector's choice, back to back. Put bills underneath that one. 
And you can put bills underneath this one as well. Awesome. He was a really good kicker back in the day. Small envelope number five coming out of Metroplex, Michigan. Okay, we have an Allen and Ginter signed by Mr. Doc Emmerich, sports broadcaster. Unfortunately, I was afraid of that. A lot of these cards are too thick for the machines at the post office, so they get bent up a little bit right there. Not a big deal. Really cool message from Doc. Hi, David. FYI, the fabric is from one of my winter classic jackets, Doc. That's awesome. That's a really cool response from Mike Emmerich. Small envelope number six, coming out of North Texas. Here we have, all right, it's a Skybox. I haven't had one of these in a while. Orlando Blackman. Dallas Mavericks. Blackman was a really good scorer back in the day. And as you can see in the 90-91 season, he averaged 19.9 points per game. And he was the ninth pick overall in the 81 draft out of Kansas State. Thank you, Mr. Blackman. All right, small envelope number seven, coming back from Charlotte, North Carolina. This one's pretty thick. Hopefully that's not bad news. Picked up a couple blasters and got blasted with Joe Graff Jr. cards. Awesome that he signed all four. That's a beautiful card right there on the optic. That's great. Thank you, Joe Graff Jr. All right, small envelope number eight is also coming out of Charlotte. Might it be another NASCAR driver? Let's see. All right, it is. We have Matt Kenseth. Also, I signed both of these in a blue Sharpie marker. That's great. What a nice return from Matt Kenseth. Small envelope number nine coming in from Santa Clarita, California. All right, it's another Skybox. We have John Sally. Awesome. That's a cool response. It's a really cool photo here on the back of the card. Looks like he might have been doing stand-up comedy. And last but not least, coming out of Oakland, California. All right, we have an Allen and Ginter from Elvis Andrews. That's awesome. Sent this to the Oakland Athletics, and this came back. That is great. Always awesome to get a current player back, especially in the midseason. Thank you, Mr. Elvis Andrews. And that'll do it for TTM episode number 72. A wide variety of returns today, which is always my goal. We covered wrestling, baseball, football, hockey, racing, and basketball. Thank you for watching, and if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. And as always, I welcome thoughts in the comment section below. If you haven't done so already, I'd greatly appreciate you subscribing to this channel so that you don't miss future videos. I hope you're having a great start to your week. Take care. Cheers.